OK, welcome back. Now, the weather forecast for the weekend isn't looking great, but mm. summer is alive right now here at This Morning. Yes, and the barbecue brothers, Scott and James, are here to show you how to create an all-American meat feast on your barbie between the rain showers. So what's on the menu, boys? We might have to do this this weekend because yeah. we're throwing the barbecue, barbecue tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. Yeah. and okay. the weather's supposed to be not well, great. This so. is good for doing outdoors. We're doing it indoors today, like you were saying. Yes. But the, the idea with the meat that we're doing today is mm -hmm. that it's a cheap cut of meat. It's called right. skirt steak. It's just over here, the raw yeah. No, it's a, it's kind of it's a, it's a beef cut, right? And uh, you can see it's got lots of fat going through it. So mm -hmm. it's a really, it, yeah, cooking it very quickly is a really good way to get like a rare oh, kind okay. of moist product. And yeah. it's from the place over here on the cow. Right. Okay. Um, so we're going to do it with uh, chimichurri today. Yeah. Oh, so nice. chimichurri kind of South America, it's Argentina down that way, but. Super zingy, super fresh. That you know, that's uh, that's the sauce. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. marinade. Oh, okay. What you, what okay. you want to do is get yourself some. If you can't get the dry, uh, like the fresh ingredients, we've got oregano here. Uh, we've got some parsley. Mm -hmm. uh, all the recipes will be on the website and stuff, so yeah. you can kind of get the the amounts that you need. But basically, just it's a super easy, super quick. Uh, get a bit of shallot in there. You've got some chili. Ooh, so the chili, uh, however hot you want it. So if you ah, want it okay. super hot, put more in. Go hot, go hot. Right, hot, cool. hot, 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 hot. Uh, some black. Pepper, some uh, ground pepper. You've got garlic, fresh yeah. garlic if you can. Yeah. Get those in there. Hey, James, when I prepare my meat for the barbecue, usually I leave it overnight for you know, to marinate. Yeah, you Is that sorry, the best I'm just way? checking. I uh, heard this right. <coughs> when you prepare your meat for the barbecue, yeah, because yeah, this is weird. Oh, so we I'm going to marinate the lamb chops tonight, you see? Yeah, so yeah. just. Because we were having a conversation where you would say that you did most of it. So. Yeah, oh, well, okay. Marvin always has a different view when it comes to us in the kitchen. It's, be it's becoming a, a regular on this show. Out. Oh, but, we, um, do, we do marinate it, though. You're absolutely you, right. Yeah. Yeah. You want about a minimum of about four hours, but if you can get it in overnight, that would be okay. awesome as well. Okay, get some red wine vinegar, get that into there as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm pleased that you guys are here, actually, because Marvin thinks that he's the god when it comes to barbecues. He don't all men take. Control yeah, of the it's, just, it's a real manly it's a thing, thing isn't it? Yeah, they yeah. Sort of, I just feel like you think, you know, well, this is in my house, the women do all of the work and you're in the kitchen, and then he sticks and a bit of it. meat yeah. on that's the grill and he wants the nice praise. To be honest, that's kind of like with me and him. He does a lot of the hard work and then I take the glory. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's a perfect relationship. How long yeah. are we cooking this steak? Right, well, we marinated that for about two to four hours. Right. Uh, you can do that in the fridge, it's probably nice and safe. And then kind of rub most of the marinade off so it doesn't burn on the hot griddle. Right. And we're going to cook this thing. I mean, it's it doesn't take a lot of cooking. We can, we would prefer it rare. Yeah, so we're going to do a rare one today for you. That can be anything from two to four minutes on each side. Right. If you want it medium, go up to six to eight minutes on each side. Okay. Yeah. And the idea at the end of it is to slice it really thin, mm. and we're going to piece it together with some extra sides as well. I love So the sides that we're going to pick out yes. today are, yeah. What we're going to do is start off with uh, something that's slightly unusual, which is going to be bananas wrapped in bacon oh. with a spiced oh. maple kind of dressing. This is the first. I've never heard of that. No, but this it's sounds really easy. Right it's quite a good street. fun for kids as well, because um, you know kids like fruit and like everyone likes bacon. Everything tastes better with bacon. Very true. true. Very true. Very true. <laughs> so you want to get yourself a normal banana. Um, right. We've got some dressing over here. Mm -hmm. um, what you basically got is like smoked paprika, got some garlic granules. Uh, some crushed black pepper and some onion granules. Mm -hmm. um, so get all those with a drop of maple syrup. Yeah. Get that into here. Try and keep a little bit of the maple over because you want to glaze it with some stuff later on. With this rub, you can pretty much do anything. You can put like some oh, asparagus in there or you can do... What else were we doing? Radicchio. Radicchio. Um, yeah. You can do jalapenos as well. Jalapenos so, oh, are amazing lovely. with these. Yeah. But, like, fill them with a bit of cream cheese. But yeah, so you get your banana. And then you want to get some bacon over here. And again, it's nice and messy. So streaky bacon, yeah? Yes, yeah, get some streaky bacon. Try and get like a smoked streaky bacon if you can. Right. And then you literally roll it. It looks so yum. So you don't have to be, it's good because you don't have to be neat with this, just messy, get yeah, involved. Yeah, it's all about just getting your feet. You know, the cool thing, we were doing it yesterday because we've got, um, we are doing some photography for a cookery book that we've got coming out next month. Right. And, you know, nice we were plug. doing it out. Yeah, nice <laughs> plug, yeah. 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 Really good plug. Yeah, yeah. So I did it again in about a minute. And, um, <laughs> and you know, we, we basically just cooked it all, and then we fired it onto a massive wooden board. And then, you know, we, everyone just dug in, slicing bits of meat off. So you don't even really need to use your fingers. Well, oh, look at that. that. Yeah, it's pretty I love good. those lines. You guys have got good griddles here. I like this. Yes. This is excellent. So, it's well, isn't it? it's so you get one of these and just make sure you keep kind of turning it over. Right. And that 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 wants to kind of darken, wants to burn a little bit, but not so it's like super black. It just wants to be nice and crispy, like you'd normally have a crispy bacon sandwich. Right. Yeah. Okay. You you a cocktail, a little cocktail stick in there as well to hold yeah, it together. Yeah, little cocktail stick to hold it together. Um, yeah. Make sure you take that out. That's not. Not good around kids. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, swiftly, swiftly on then. We're yeah. going to do some uh, some meaty barbecue beans. Right. Uh, we've got some butter in here. We've uh, sauteed some bacon mm -hmm. and some onion. Yeah. And we're going to add a teaspoon of paprika. Smoked paprika if you if you oh, can. Mm. Lovely. You're going to want to kind of cook this off for about a minute or so. A teaspoon and a bit. Is this one of your specialities, Scott? It is. Well, I mean, we do pit beans in uh, in our restaurant, uh, which is actually one of our kind of probably more forward-thinking and uh, decadent sides, right. I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, and it's super popular. It's probably our most popular signature dish. signature dish. It is, but we can't give that recipe out yet. So uh, <laughs> yeah. we're going to add some barbecue sauce to this as well. Oh. OK, we've got Cook a minute out. left, just one minute, so you know. One minute. And then I've, I've taken most of the juice out of these beans off. And then I'm going to okay. place that in here. We're going to cook the heck out of this so that right. it gets all sticky and beautiful and nice. Yeah. Okay. Almost frying them. Yeah, you almost want to break mm -hmm. them up like refried beans. Yeah. And then I'm going to take this to the oven. Yeah. Imagine five minutes time, that'll be done. OK, and, and they're just normal beans from the supermarket? Yeah, just baked beans. Cheap, cheap. Brilliant. Yeah, you nice can chuck in some kidney beans as well if you, you want. You can do kidney beans, you can do sweet corn, you know, anything you want. Nice. So I'm going to transfer. Oh. Right, I'll just dive in next to you. Right, here, yeah, let's go. Crap, right. Right. Taste it. Oh, wow. So these are some of the ones that we did earlier on. So yes. we've got some jalapenos on there. There you go. Lovely. So we've got 30 Tasty. seconds to tuck in. All right. Some of those. Don't worry, I've always got time to touch in. <laughs> and we've got uh, uh, these oh. on here. Oh, some meat. So here. these are the bacon wrap bananas. So someone needs to have a go on those. Right, I'm going. I'm yeah, going you go on the bacon wrap bananas. banana. I think I might have a little go. bit of steak. Oh, yeah, you're going to wait for the good stuff, are you? The skirt steak. You got the beans out? This is super rare. I hope you like rare. Yeah, that's good for me. And uh, you want to get some beans on this plate over hey, here hey, as well, hey, quickly? Hey, hey, that's that's pretty hot. hot. Be careful. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're gonna. I think that was for the comment. Good. I'm actually gonna put it right on this um, on this plastic. Oh, okay, thing. sorry. Yeah, sort of our presentation. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's grab this here. Those yeah. those bananas are absolutely unbelievable. It's oh, like it's meant to be, isn't it? Unbelievable. It's just absolutely as if they are made. Which is easy, isn't it? Mm. Right. Here we go. It's amazing. Some of those in there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, let's boys. I want to taste it. I'm going. I'm going. Boom. Okay, perfect. Skate looks great. Let's get some of this on there before you go. Thank you very much. Also, a bit of that too. Right. Whilst we eat this, we this better... This is a chimichurri, yeah? We That's a chimichurri. We better chimichurri, actually yeah. do some work, and I think we have to throw to a break now. Mm. <laughs> if you want any more information on any of James and Scott's recipes today, take a look at the website. It looks lovely. Mm, yeah. A competition town, actually, now, not a break. It's Jeff with the details. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too interested in these beans. <laughs> still be charged. Good luck. Good luck. Sorry, we're still in barbecue mode this here. This food is it. awesome. He hasn't come up for air. It's amazing. He really hasn't. Now, we are back after the break with the reveal of our surprise makeover. We'll see you in a bit. More barbecue for us. <laughs>